This is what founders look like. This is what their teams look like. This is the Apple team circa rise of the iPhone. This is the Facebook product team circa right now. Mark Zuckerberg just reorganized the product team. And all but one of the people on this org chart is a man. It is astonishing that in 14 years, this company is 14 years old, they couldn't find more women to promote and groom and train to be on this org chart. Women's voices are getting left out of Facebook. This is the founding team of PayPal, <laughs> a group that has accepted the affectionate moniker PayPal Mafia, <laughs> which doesn't have any connotations. <laughs> PayPal touted itself as a meritocracy. In and outside the company, they said, we only hire the best. You are only here if you deserve to be here. When in fact, PayPal's own founders admit they hired their friends. They hired people who looked like them, other mostly white male students from Stanford who shared their generally contrarian and libertarian political views. And this myth of the meritocracy has been incredibly damaging. Because if you believe that you are operating a meritocracy or operating in a meritocracy, you look at everyone and you think that they deserve to be where they are. You become blind to the systemic factors that are working against everybody else, and you can actually be more anti-meritocratic as a result. As a result, we have this. <laughs> HBO's show Silicon Valley has gotten a lot of flack for how it represents women, but in my view, this is art imitating life even though it is pretty funny. <laughs> the show is funny. The problem is most definitely not funny. Silicon Valley does not shy away from hard problems. This is an industry that embraces hard problems. And yet when it comes to diversity, when it comes to, well, how are we going to hire more women? How are we going to hire more underrepresented minorities? They're like, oh, that's tough. I don't, know. I don't know what we're going to do. How are we going to fix this? Stumped. <laughs> if we can connect the world and organize the world's information and build self-driving cars and build rockets that are going to take us to Mars, we can hire more women and pay them fairly and fund their ideas. This is not too hard a problem.